right so in this video i'll be showing you how to upload the bank script or how to configure it i will show you the various step by step step procedure you need to follow to set up this online banking script okay so the first thing you need to do is to get a domain name and then um, hosting so you can get domain name and hosting from namecheap okay so once you have your hosting so you have to log into the hosting dashboard just as you are seeing on your screen right now so to upload the band script now you have to click on um you have to locate and click on file manager which is it right here so you have to click on it then if you are if you want to upload the script on the main domain name of your website then you have to locate public underscore html okay so this is it public underscore html you have to locate it then click on it and you have to upload the script right here all right so but for the purpose of this training i've already created a subdomain which is this that i'll be using for this particular training so this is the subdomain name i've created so to create subdomain name all you need to do is to go back to your hosting dashboard sorry your cpanel dashboard and search for subdomain okay so here is it right here so you can click on subdomain so you just have to type um let's say the name you want to give on this subdomain let's say um test then you have to select the particular domain name you want it to link as you can see on this particular um, hosting right now i have um i have multiple domain linked to it so you have to select the particular one you want it to link to okay so let's go back to our file manager so this is where i'm going to upload the script so i'll just have to delete this one i'll right click then delete okay then i'll click on upload over here so i'll have to drag the file from my system so this is the file here. this is the file so i have to drag it to the c panel okay so i will drop it here so we have to wait for the uploading to complete so i just have to pause this particular video now so that the uploading will be complete once it's complete it will show this particular session this color the color will change to green okay so as you can see the uploading is complete that's why you are seeing it showing green right now as you can see it's showing 100 percent also so all we need to do right now is to click on this session to go back home okay so here is the file we just uploaded so the next thing we need to do now is to um extract the file so we have to click on it then right click then click on extract okay so we have extracted we have extracted the file now so all we need to do is to um, delete the zip file we uploaded so i'll right click and i'll click on delete so the next thing we need to do now is to is to create our database is to create database um for this particular website so we have to go back to the main dashboard of our cpanel then we have to locate um mysql database wizard okay so i'll have i'll just have to name um this database let's say um okay so new bkdb so i'll just copy it then click on next step paste here also as a username then the password i'll have to create password for our database so i can just come over here to generate password so i'll copy this okay i'll click on use password then i have to save the password in a safe place let me paste the password here okay then i'll click on create user all right so i have to copy the database 
uh, username and the database name. So I'll paste here, very important. Then I'll click on all privileges. It's very important to click on all privileges. Then click on make changes. Okay, so we have created our database um, name and our, our database user. So I'll click on return home here. So the next thing we need to do now is to upload our database file, to import our database file. So I have to locate PHP admin over here. So I will click on it. So once I click on it, it will direct me to this particular page. So I have to locate the particular database we created earlier. So as you can see, I have other database here already. So this is the database we just created, new BKDB. So I will click on it. Okay, so after clicking on it, I will click on import over here. I will click on import. Okay, so I will click choose file. Okay, this is the folder here. I will click on it. Then this is the database I want to upload. I will highlight, then open. And I will come here and click on go. Okay, so import has been successful. We have successfully imported our database file. All right, so we can cancel this and we can close this particular session now. We are done. So we'll go back to our files. So we'll go back to web the website files. Then we have to click on them. Um, we have to locate this particular folder. So you, you have to locate this particular folder, this include folder. We have to click on it. Okay. After clicking on it, we we'll, we'll click on config.php. So we have to right click on this particular session here. That's it, then config.php to edit the, to configure the database here. So I'll click on edit. All right. I'll come here. So this is the session of the website where we need to do our um, database setting. So I will come here like this, then I have to copy this uh, database user. I'll copy. Okay. Then I'll, I'll paste. If you notice, the tra database user and the database name is the same name. So I will just, I will paste it here also. I'll paste on the database name here also then i will come back here and copy the password so this is the password so now paste i'll paste the password then the next thing i'll need to do now so this is our website link this is the website link so i'll copy the website link and come here i'll i'll paste the website link here Okay, then this is the uh, email. So I'll paste the website um, link here like this. So, which means you are going to create this particular email address, this info at the name of our website.com. Okay, so after making those changes, I'll click on save changes. Okay, so that's it. We have successfully configured the um, database and name. So, let's go and create. This particular info email now we'll create this particular info email to create our email we'll go back to our website on um, our cpanel dashboard then i'll click on create here okay so i have to select the particular on um, domain name that i want to create email on so let's see okay this is it here then i'll click on info i'll type info here then password i'll have to generate password I'll copy this password, this email password, because we'll be needing it. So let me come down here and paste. Okay, so this is the password. Then I will come here and click on create. Okay, so this is the email. I've created the email now. So I'll just have to copy this email. I'll copy this email like this. Okay, so we have already done our um, database configuration here. So the next thing we need to do now is to is to um, configure our email so so that the website will be able to send 
uh, that is OTP and then we're able to send email to users okay so to do that now so we are going to do the email configuration in two session all right so the first place is this particular one here this user class dot um, php so i'll right click i'll click on edit okay i'll click on edit over here again okay so i will come down here so this is where i will need to do the email configuration i will make i will have to change this particular session here i will change this email i will change the email here then i will come here also i will change the email then i will come here i'll change the email okay then i will come here like this i'll copy this particular session i'll copy this session here then i will i will change the host okay the host has to be your website address so change this place to our website address then this particular session you have to change it to your bank name okay so you will change this particular session to your bank name then this particular session and this password i have to um, paste the password to this particular email i will come here then i will copy this email password then i will paste here okay so that's all you need to do in this particular session make sure you change this place to your to your bank name okay you have to change this particular session to your bank name then the host it has to be your website address then i'll click on save okay so the next thing i'll need to do now is that i'll go back to um to the um that is to the training to where we uploaded the script so i'll locate admin okay so this is right here i will have to open this particular admin folder then from the admin folder i will click on include okay so we have to do uh, our email configuration here also so you have to right click and edit edit again okay so uh, we have to do our email configuration here in this particular session so i'll go back here oh sorry okay so this is the email i will come back let me copy the email here i'll copy the email address here okay so i'll paste the email address here i'll paste the email address here also paste the email address here okay so our website address should be here so i will just have to delete this info at then i will come here and copy the password so this is our password so i'll have to paste here okay then you have to change this particular session to your website to your bank name okay so i will click on save okay now let's visit our website so let me copy the website address okay awesome guys awesome so that's how to set up um your this particular online banking script it's very easy just follow my step by step procedure and you'll be able to set everything up without any difficulties all right so the next thing i want to show to you now is how to change your logo okay so a lot of people message me that um they are finding it difficult to change their logo and then um, those stuff so to do that all you need to do is to right click on this particular um, logo you are seeing here so right click then i'll click on open imaging new tab okay so as you can see right here now this is how you're able to assess the logo um inside your 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 files all right so if you want to access this particular image now in the file you uploaded in the file you uploaded this is how you are going to access it so you click on from um 
front you, you enter another folder called img so you're able to get access to this uh, favorite icon dot png all right so all you need to all you need to do is that before you change this particular image you have to first of all rename your um logo to favorite icon dot um, uh, dot, dot you must you must change your logo to favorite icon and it must be in a png format all right so you must be in a png format and then you have to name it this particular favorite icon all right so to do that now let's say you want to um, replace this particular image all i need to do is to go back to to the files then i have to locate this front then from front i will locate this particular ng so let's go back now okay so as you can see this is the folder called front so i have to open it so from inside the front there's another folder called img so the so this is it we have img so this is the folder here i have to open it okay so this is our this is the logo this is the logo here so we just have to replace the logo okay okay so i already have an uh, image here that i save as a favorite icon and as you can see it's in a png file it's a png file so i just have to drag this particular image 